Welcome back everyone. These are the ladies of Salasta, and I am Papa Sean, and we did a no-no. <laughs> we read a sign that said, do not enter, forbidden, and what do we do? We went inside, and now the ladies are under attack by these spectral, spectral servants. Alright, so Tess is up. We're going to go ahead and uh, add insult, or rather injury to insult, yeah? Gonna injury to insult, and we are going to cast a spirit guardians on Tessa. Fortunately, we got two on one side of the door, another two on the inside of the door. We're gonna uh, let's see. There's yeah, these two over there. So we're gonna go ahead and have her hold the line. We got one moving in. Oh no! Ooh, that's a big sword you just swing in there. This server just took 18 damage coming in to the Guardians. This one, oh man, I need to pull these guys back. Alright, so Lorana, you are going to fall back because we want to bring these puppies in, and then we're going to go ahead and do spell against this server over here. <coughs> They're flying, so no point in going high. They're resisting fire, so we don't want to use fire I'll end her turn. This guy's taking lots of radiant damage. Alright, Rosalind, you're going to disengage, aren't you? Cunning action, disengage. She's going to move into position alongside Tessa, our cleric. And let's open up on this guy. We're doing radiant damage still. Yeah, it looks like they took the full amount of piercing and radiant, I think. So that'll end her turn. She got some sneak attack damage off. Ginger. Ginger Root's going to attack this servant. Ooh, you 16 is a hit. So she's going to finish one of these guys off. Well, in their turn. Uh, we'll go ahead and... What's she going to do? She is going to... I want to cast a spell. And I can cast Misty Step, but then I can't cast an actual big spell. So why don't we... Fire is going to be resisted. You do acid, you do magic missiles, uh, color spray, sprays luminous chrome that uh, briefly blinds your enemies. They're ghosts, so I don't know that that's going to work out so hot. Uh, and this is a fairy fire. That's going to give us advantage on attacks, but I, don't, I, I think uh, hmm, mm -mm. maybe getting her into the safe zone is probably the best, because then they'll advance, and then Tessa is going to light them up like a Christmas tree. So we disengage. We're going to go ahead and move in one space. There we go. Tess is here. Tess is going to use uh, radiant damage since it's working out so nice. And we'll use it on this one that's damaged. So I guess they found a way to hit our guy without coming in. This one took some radiant. That's a big swing. Alright, so we've got uh, disadvantage because we're right up close and personal. I don't have magic missile prepared. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to disengage. And we're going to try to get out. She's flying, so she can really get out. Get out the way. That'll end her turn. Ooh, oh my, Ginger, you just took a heavy hit from that necrotic. Goodness. Alright, so we are going to have Ginger do a cunning action to disengage. She's going to come over here, too. And then we're going to attack this Spectral Servant and hopefully get some sneak attack damage off. Well struck. And then, uh, Ginger, you need to reclaim yeah. your dignity from this Servant that did like 30 you damage to you. Alright, so that's taken care of. Alright, we're going to need to get Kyothea out, out of here. So we'll move up. We're going to end our turn. Kalthea is going to disengage. She needs to stay healthy. Send her back. 
I'll end her turn, and then these guys, um, let's get them inside the bubble. Tessa's going to advance and say, you got to take it on the next turn. In the meantime, we will cast Sacred Flame on the weakest of the two. For no damage. Except for the radiant damage. Oh my, Tessa. We're going to take that opportunity attack. She did one damage. And then uh, Ginger's going to get an opportunity attack as well. Thirteen. The uh, Spiritual Guardians is really doing a lot of damage. We have a couple of these guys. Can't do anything with fire. What about Chill Touch? This is going to be necrotic. They probably won't suffer from that. Acid Splash. We can hit both of them with Acid Splash, but I do not know whether that's going to give us the desired effect. Looks like uh, it only takes half the damage. Resistant to acid. Okay, so acid's no good either. We'll end her turn. Roslyn. Let's go after this guy for sneak attack. Good stuff. Gonna move away. End turn. Alright, Ginger. Should go after the weakest with the critical miss. Gonna move next to the wall to get an extra two AC, and then she's gonna go after the weakest yeah! and get a crit. I take nice no job. prisoners. All right, so Kalithia is being hunted by this guy. If we look at her spells, she is going to have nothing when it comes to bonus actions for Misty Step, and then we've got Scorching Ray with her resistance to fire, the resistance to acid. Uh, magic Missile, let's try that out. And we will cast it as a level 3 spell. Right? No. Level 2. Level 3. Level 3. Let's do level 3. Take some force damage! There you go. There you go. Do not enter your face! We were able to reclaim another one of those radiant arrows from the corpse. It's cool. Alright, so we're definitely dealing with a trap now. So with that, we want to go ahead and grab Tessa. She's got the Spirit Guardians going, so maybe I don't. I'm going to chance it with, uh, with Roslyn. I don't want to lose Spirit Guardians for nothing. We success. We succeeded. And now we can attempt to loot. And here we found a purple amber a crafting warden blade and magic weapon request cool so we'll loot all that and there's something over here we got uh, a little container all the gods Manicaran orchids clearly they're correctly named wow so pretty all right, we're over here on this side. We got a little tiny box, and in that tiny box is some acid, refined oil, lily of the badlands, manicolon orchids, and then oil of cuteness. All right. So we were able to have a look in here, and I think we got everything. But just to ensure, I think there was one more chest. Put this right here. Uh, are you still flying, Lorana? Lorana's still flying. She's going to check it out. I think that's the one where we got a few things. Nothing there. Over here. Anything else? Nothing. Okay. I think we cleared it all out. That leaves the final door and whatever is in this guy's hand. Oh, we found a, a little latch on the hand. Okay, this doesn't look uh, <laughs> concerning at all. A spectacular place, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Everybody.
Shorty Freeze. Are you kidding me? Master, here I am, at last. Itayella, come to me. We're gonna die here. Uh, uh. <laughs> What's going on here? I have tried for years to open that door. And here you are, an answer to my prayers. It would almost lead me to believe in the benevolence of the gods. <laughs> Albeit, my very existence proves otherwise. Oh my gosh. But a beautiful dragon. I mean, look at that. I love dragons. It's so awesome. It looks like a gold dragon. Gold or brass. I always get the two mixed up, but no, nah, that's pretty cool. Awesome. All right, so we've got Spirit Guardians, fortunately, up and running. And we're used to fighting the Broods now. They're nasty. But fortunately, uh, I think we'll be in a good place. Razan is up here. What, I'm pretty sure that's the name we heard before, Razan being like the... mentioned. All right, so Lorana. Here we go. Lorana, you are up. You're going to cast a... maybe a fireball? Maybe. I don't think we can get all three in without doing catastrophic self-damage. What about casting these three on Razan? Razan's likely going to dodge the crap out of these, and we want to drop one of these as soon as possible. Why don't we go ahead and force the, the one on the side by itself? So we're going to light it up with four scorching. <laughs> it only took one one hit, but the one hit it took was a critical, so that that's at least good. All right, so that ends her turn. We want to collapse in on Tessa, though. Let's collapse in on Tessa so that others can get in. Um, legendary actions. He must be like a vampire master. He's doing a spell. We can counter his spell. Hostile spell casting. Razan is casting a spell. You can use different slots. Um, we can... Uh, is probably... Let's go ahead and try a level 3 counter. Alright, that worked. Don't hurt my Razi. Oh no, she's going to have that. With and uh, she's drained though. Oof. Rosalind got drained a little bit. She's not too bad off, though. Uh, we've got none of these guys touching. Rosalind's going to move into position next to Tessa so she can hopefully uh, not take any more of that. We've got our arrows selected for flash arrow. We uh, did a little damage on that guy. I actually wanted to see if I can hurt Rosalind. Anything I can do to him? Nope. Yes, another miss. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no. Oof. Critical miss on his bite. That was fortunate. Alright, we have attack of opportunity. We gotta take it. Alright, she's gonna use that to hopefully daze that. Nope, that guy's gonna get right on by. He's with disadvantage. I wonder why. I wonder if they're getting some light in here. I'm gonna have to take a look at that. All right, so we are. They're in half light. We're in dim light, so they're not gonna get disadvantage from that. Ginger is not looking so hot. We are up with Tessa. Tessa is going to. Do we? S okay, so we have one more brood. We can reposition Tessa. I want to stick that... Where did... Where, <laughs> where did Razan go? I don't even see him anymore. Razan! He's here. He went ran off into the corner. Um, I guess that's fine. We're going to... ensure that we get both of these people in the bubble. And we're going to do that by coming here. Oh! How about... 
I can't really keep moving, but this will this will collapse him so that this guy's got to come in in order to hit the other peeps. So Tessa is going to cast a spell. She can heal Ginger. Uh, she can also fireball these two. Um, we're going to need the fireballs for other things. Why don't we go ahead and cast... I wonder if rest rest uh, Lesser Restoration is going to help out with Roslyn or not, but... Let's do some aid. Aid Ginger, aid Tessa, uh, and Roslyn. Okay, they're aided. We're going to end turn. Oh Are my okay? goodness, Lorana is drained. This is not good. Alright, Ginger, you need to get your AC up. We need to get you next to a wall. If we stick her here, we can attack that brood. She should be dealing uh, with a pretty decent 22 AC. Not bad. So we can also do a uh, action surge. We can chug a potion with her extra action, but she's actually doing okay. What if we take a look at this? We can use revivify with her. I thought she had some other options too. All right, so why don't we use the potion, drink potion? Not very good on that potion drink. Her other powers are close quarters. Force a guy to switch spaces. No, we just, we're happy. We just got where we wanted to be. And then she can heal herself with second wind. Let's go ahead and use second wind as well. All right, she's feeling healthier. She's near a wall. She's got more AC going on. Um, this guy's going to come over here. Oh, man. Whew, close. I gave a, an opportunity attack that I didn't need to give. We're going to do Scorching Ray again. This guy's the lowest, so we're going to just light him up. Pew, pew, pew. That is a really, really bad uh, hit. I need to move Tessa closer in to get the best use of her Spirit Guardians. Rosalind's going to move couple spaces. She's going to go here. I'm going to have her travel. I can't travel through. Alright. I want to get her here, so I'm going to do cunning action to disengage, get her positioned where I want her, and then I'm going to have her open up on this brood of dread. Now that's good damage. Good job, Rosalind. Alright, bad boy's coming in. Yeah, he took 18 damage. Razan took 18. Yeah, we'll go ahead and smack Razan. He's got, he's got 145 health. So. Alright, we're liking this, uh, this setup here. We're going to move a little bit closer in for Ginger. Maybe even more so, because that's... I want to get these guys to start in that spot, so they're, she's going to move up. Hopefully that is enough to... She can actually move under this guy. Let's do that. This way they all start their turn there. They're all going to take radiant damage. She's going to also uh, blast this one. Alright, he's out of there. He's, yeah, we're going to counter that spell. Oh, I didn't even see you over there. Lorana, no! Look out! Oh, that was fortunate. All right, so who do we, we want to finish off these broods as fast as we can, so we're going to move in. I hope that she still has the wall. She does. She's got 23 AC thanks to the wall, having Tunnel Fighter, and then also having Tessa on her side. That'll end her turn. Legendary actions. Ooh. Ooh. Biting my girl. Alright. Razan is on top of Lorana here. We're going to disengage with Lorana because we need to get her inside the, the bubble shield. 
she's there. Got no spells I want to cast, so they're there. This guy just took 10. And Ginger just suffered 13. Even with as high AC as she's got. Alright, we are disengaging, getting her repositioned. And then we are gonna... We'll shoot at the weakened one. Fourteen damage. Spirit Guardians is coming off like a champ. Oof. Misty form power. He just zipped over there. He's healing himself. Taking chomps out of our people. Alright, Tessa, you're in a good place. We'll go ahead and use a, a fireball, I'm thinking, over here. Mm, not especially the best, but we'll take it. I'm not sure why they're getting the disadvantage. It might be the uh, spirit guardians. So, if I move up, I can do two swings on this brood of flesh. And then it'll be Lorana's turn. Maybe, just maybe, we can finish. I am unbeatable. Not quite. She's, she's out of movement. I can, uh, I still got 22 AC on her, so I'm, I think I'm okay. Lorana, what are we gonna do? Cast spell. We want that guy dead. We're running low on spells with you, but let's just make darn sure we drop one of these guys. I hard for this. <laughs> Even that, and it wasn't enough to take it down. Yeah. Oh. Alright, so we have nobody that's close by. We can maybe finish off this one. Nice. That was worth it. Alright, I think we're okay to just move. Oh, Ginger, don't die. Dying, Ginger. Alright, so he's taking some radiant. Alright, so Tessa can bring her back up. Um... Probably can benefit from the aid as well, but these guys are already aided, aren't they? Yep. So you can't aid the aided, I believe. Alright, so let's cast a spell. We had Healing Word previously. Inflict Wounds is there. Why don't we run up, heal her, and I don't think we can get back though. That's the only trouble. If we run up, cast a healing word. Cure wounds, rather. Then the brood's gonna take her turn. Yeah, uh, come on, let me move my... I wanna move back. Can't move back. End turn. This guy's got a legendary action. We'll go ahead and counter that spell. No idea what it was going to be. Ooh, necrotic damage. And healed herself. Laron is down to 12 hit points. We'll go ahead and chug the uh, healing potion with Ginger. And that'll end her turn. But your thanks for what exactly? For reuniting me with Kitaela. For dealing with this foulness when I was incapacitated. This evil was new to me. 
not something Manakalon ever knew. You never met such a creature before? No. Manakalon, for all its faults, revered life. This was a negation of life, an abomination. Manakalon? Are you one of the... Adrastea, the prudent shield, master of abjuration, in your debt and at your service. You were at the Battle of the Rift? Yes. And there I must apologize for Kitaela's misconceptions. Misconceptions? Yes. She was created with an elven personality and carried certain prejudices. Oh, that. The Empire wasn't kind to other races. The humans surprised you, it seems. Yes. Such bravery, such defiance. They all came together to save Salasta. The Golden Cavalry charging and breaking the lines of the Saur Akath. The Iron Legions and the Shield Wall of the Dwarves. Holding the enemy at bay, flank to flank. Our Shock Arcanists and the Human Paladins together. Giving their lives to give us a chance to close the rift. And as another wave came through, one last throw of the dice. One last surprise for the Saur Akath. What was it? Kasenax had us walking Salaster in elven form for so long. But at this moment, we resumed our true forms to secure the rift for a few crucial moments, buying time with our lives in a furnace of magic and steel, so Kasenax could finish his ritual with the gems. Take it, old friend, once again. Old friend? I feel your spirit in the crown, Kasenax. The Magister is still in the crown? Enough talk of the past. Please accept these few tokens of my gratitude. I must rest now. I foresee one last flight when the need is greatest, and for that, I will need all my strength. Use my gate freely. I believe you know how. We shall meet again before the end. But before you take your leave, if you would be so kind, this creature you forced to flee still plagues my grounds with his minions. Would you deal with them and free their prisoners? As a courtesy. We owe you that much. Thank you, Master Adrasteya. Alright, we got another Infinity Stone, or I should say a uh, <laughs> Crown of Majesty Stone. Right, so the dragon is in here. I want to go back and see the dragon! door cannot be opened. I guess you gotta get your dragon kicks while you can. Very cool. Alright, so our ladies are a little beat. Why don't we get them a little bit healthier? We have a few more spells of level. Why don't we get Tessa up a tiny bit? I owe you my life. Do you know? Alright, there is a an area that we can rest in here too, so that's something to consider. On the other side. They're all gone. This must have something to do with Adrastea's awakening. Oh. Ah. So we gotta find there's the gate. We have this thing here, which is I think the way in. And then there's this other beacon over here. So I believe there's a long rest location just over here on the left. Can't quite get in there. We definitely want to rest up after fighting with that nasty, nasty. We got some magic missiles. Uh, so if we uh, 
go to the crafting we can get them going for more so Lorana is here go ahead and uh, we can't make any more it seems because we're out of the juicy stuff but scrolls and mage armor are not bad either we'll go ahead and start crafting that and Roslyn needs more arrows, but we can't get those, but we can make long night poison bolts, so let's go ahead and start crafting those. Alright, back to resting. So, the reason we're resting is because Lorana uh, had 12 life left, and that's because uh, we were given uh, a bite or something, the necrotic damage was uh, preventing her to get to max. Can't get through this force field. We have a gate over here that we can use, and the grounds they mentioned were still infested. Before I go through that, if I can, let me see about casting uh, Mage Armor on the Rogue and on Lorata. Mage Armor and Mage Armor. Okay, now we can go through here if it gives us the option. We'll leave the area. And so I'm assuming we're about to walk into a fight. The grounds are still infested, she said. I've, I'd already gone through and, and killed a lot of these guys, but... Let's see if that's in our journal for quests to do. Uh, Shadow the Defiler. Find Resin and destroy him. I just ask you to find the Defiler who nests nearby her tower. Return to the ruins outside of the Fortress of Shield. Find the tomb where Rezan placed the remains of his family to lure him and put an end to his existence. Okay, we had um, encountered a, uh, like a crypt thing earlier. I think that was in here. Yep. So let's head over here, but before we do enter the darkness, let's give Tess a spirit guardians, because we're kind of sure we're about to walk into some madness. Little spirit guardians. And uh, we could probably also cast a spiritual weapon. So let's go ahead and put that down next to us. Spirit, uh, spirit weapon does not take your uh, concentration, so that's why we're using that. We're during the day, so we can have better chance of giving a hard time. Oh, you know what? And there's also, before we mess around with that, uh, you see those grassy things up here? We're going to cast Sacred Flame on these. Oh? No? Yes? There we go. Okay, so we've set the ground for a fight. I guess the sun ha isn't hitting on those windows just yet. But hopefully when we have a talk with this guy it will get us into combat. Where did the spiritual weapon go? Oh, yep, by accessing that tomb here. Why is it night? It was daytime. Oh, those cheaters. Alright, so now we are surrounded by Razan and all his cronies and somehow he changed it to night or my characters waited there until night alright so these are the ladies of Slasta thank you everybody for watching we will resume with the ambush laid by Razan we tried to have it during the day but it did not uh, make out that way and we see we've got Estella who's uh, joined the the ambush against us here so throw in the comments anything you'd like to see uh, questions suggestions and we will catch you next time Happy questing.